Hey guys, Michael here, and I'm back to talk bricks. Today we're talking This Week in Bonus Lego News, where every Saturday I bring you the Lego stories you need to know. We've got an epic week with the reveal of the Lego Ideas Seinfeld set, another Ninjago City set. What are we getting for Comic-Con this year? Could this mean the return of Lego Scooby-Doo? And could we be getting a Lego Fast and the Furious movie? This video is brought to you by my Lego Masters podcast, Talk Bricks Masters. On this episode, we break down episode five, the floating brick challenge with former contestants, Mel and Corey from season one. And you can listen to this episode on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or more using the links in the description below. And I'll kick off another round of the weekly giveaway. Just subscribe and leave a comment about this week's news. And of course, I'm back with Lego deals from Amazon and across the web. So if you want to pick anything up to support the channel, there's links in the description below. First up, Best Buy's got a ton of great sets on sale for 20% off or more, including the Porsche 911, a ton of great Star Wars sets and more. Next up over at iWoot, they got the Lego Creator Pirate Ship for 17% off. And over at Zavi, they got the Harry Potter Hogwarts Castle, Ferrari 488, and AT-AT Walker for between 12 and 13% off. Over at Amazon, they got the Trouble on Tatooine and 501st Legion Clone Trooper sets for 20% off. From Lego City, we've got the Fire Helicopter Response for 43% off, and the Lego Ninjago Spinjitzu Burst Coal for 28% off. And they've also got the Star Wars R2D2 in stock. So if you want to pick up these deals and more and support the channel, there's links to everything in the description below. First up this week, we got the reveal of the Seinfeld Lego Ideas set with 1,326 pieces, retailing for $80. The build, of course, depicts the classic sitcom set for Jerry's apartment. And they really captured the overall look of this incredibly well, down to its unique layout. And you can even see the scaffolding with the lights hanging above. For fans of the show, it's very clear to see how well executed this design was. And they even packed in so many great Easter eggs and details. And for a show about nothing, there was definitely a lot going on in this small apartment, as there's lots of different areas where we can see the scenes played out, like the living room and the kitchen. And just like the real set, while most of the fun details are on the inside, the back leaves much to be desired. And they even managed to include a small build for the comedy stage that we see in every episode of the show. This set includes five minifigures. First up, we've got Jerry Seinfeld with a unique face print with those teeth and a brand new custom molded hairpiece, which looks great. Next up, we've got Cosmo Kramer with that awesome shirt print. And I love the pretzel, as these pretzels are making him thirsty. Next up, we've got George Costanza and that face print and bald head accessory really nail the character. And he also comes with a fishing pole and rye bread. Next, we've got Elaine Bennis with a nice print on the torso for the jacket, and she includes the fish accessory from the parking garage episode. And finally, we've got Newman with that awesome postal worker outfit and a great stare down face print. I personally can't wait to pick up this set when it comes out on the 21st. And if you want to pick it up and support the channel, I've left a link in the description below. This week, we got some rumors of an upcoming expansion to Ninjago City. The rumor says that the newest expansion will be smaller than the others with around 1,300 pieces, but it'll also only retail for $120. These sets are super imaginative and as they all connect, sort of like the modular buildings, it's been a really popular line. And while the first two were from the Ninjago movie, the most recent Ninjago City Gardens shows that this line can continue on without the movie tie-in. So it makes perfect sense that we'd see a future iteration of it. As a huge fan of these original sets, I own them all and I can't wait to add another expansion, as I really hope it comes out in 2022 as it's rumored. But as always, we'll have to wait and see. Next up, thanks to Newsweek, we got a potential tease of an upcoming Lego Fast and the Furious spin-off movie movie, as the rights for the Lego movies recently transitioned to Universal, which also has the rights to the franchise. According to Lego Batman movie director Chris McKay, they've talked about a lot of different versions of Lego movies that they could do. And he went on to say, you're working with another studio. You've got the opportunity to do stuff with their, you know, Fast and Furious Lego or Jaws Lego. And to me personally, that sounds like a pretty funny idea. And this wouldn't also be the first collaboration with Lego and Fast and the Furious, as we previously got a Lego Technic version of Dom's Dodge Charger. So with Universal having a five year deal on Lego movies, we'll have to see if we'll see Dom and the gang in Lego form. Next up, this month for Comic-Con, they're doing an at-home version from the 23rd through the 25th. And the virtual exhibitors for the event have just been announced with the Lego group amongst the list. When the event went virtual last year, the exclusive sets that would have been at the event were actually sold online at retailers like Target, Walmart, and Amazon. And this change came with some mixed reactions, though it did allow us in the US at least to get event exclusives we may not have gotten otherwise. So of course the question is, if we get exclusives at all? Will they be available through this method or maybe through giveaways like some of the figures that we saw? And for me, it's hard to say exactly what I think is going to happen here. As Lego sets take a long time to design and produce, it's possible that Lego's already been working on the exclusives that would have come out at this year's Comic-Con had it been in person. But on the flip side, with everything getting canceled last year, they may have held off on development a little bit just to make sure that they didn't make anything they couldn't use. Not to mention that many of these sets and figures are often based off of the movies and TV shows that come out around that time, and much of that has also been delayed. But I suppose selfishly, I do hope that there are things coming out and that they're released kind of like they were last year, just so I have a chance to pick them up. But with the event just a couple weeks away, I have to imagine we'll find out something soon enough. This week, we also got the full reveal of LEGO Star Wars Advent Calendar with 335 pieces, retailing for $40. Unique to this year's calendar, the set's figures are all centered around the TV show The Mandalorian. Though, of course, there are many other Star Wars themes builds, some with a winter twist. But of course, the standout is this Christmas version of The Mandalorian and The Child. The Mandalorian features 
features all the same detail as the original figure, plus that print for the scarf. And this version of the child comes with an all new red body and that printed detail. And overall, I think the advent calendar looks pretty nice, and I'll definitely pick it up when it comes out in September. Next, from Lego Brickheads, we're getting three more sets in the pets line, all for $15 starting on August 1st. First up, we've got the Tabby Cat and Kitten, which features a really nice color scheme with the two shades of orange. Though this one does look a lot like the short hair cat that came out previously. Next up, we've got the Cockatiels, and I like the bright yellow colors and that unique base. There's some interesting printed circles on the cheeks, though it looks again similar to the budgie build we got previously. And finally, we've got my favorite, the Hamsters, which feature a pretty cute design with the shaping of the head and ears. And we've never gotten this one before. And if you want to pick up any of these when they come out on August 1st and support the channel, there's links in the description below. Also coming soon, you can redeem your VIP rewards for these add-on packs. First up, we've got the fun and funky VIP add-on with lots of crazy colored pieces and even pigs. Next up, we've got the Winter Wonderland VIP pack with some really interesting pieces like white chickens and huskies. Next, we've got the Pirates and Treasure VIP add-on pack, which comes with skeleton pieces and even a shark. And the final pack will be a spooky pack, and I'll be interested to see if people pick these up once they're available. But if you want to earn some VIP points, according to a recent email, double VIP points will be back from the 12th through the 18th. And recently, the Adidas original Superstar promo was actually extended through the 18th. So according to the calendar from the 16th through the 18th, you'll be able to get double VIP points, the Adidas original Superstar promo, the Charles Dickens tribute promo, and the promo for the Lego Friends or Lego City Polybag if you purchase at least $150 of stuff, which is a pretty good stack deal. Next up, this week we got a response from Bricklink on their designer program for how things went for round one. As many of the former Lego Ideas projects were fully funded and sold out very quickly. In their statement, they said due to overwhelming interest, they're going to be doing another expansion of another 5,000 units for each of the designs in the original round. So while you'll get a second chance at many of the sets, sadly you won't get a second chance for the castle in the forest. As due to site issues, that day, they actually sold 10,000 units, despite the 5,000 limit. It's great that this new 10,000 set limit will be extended to future rounds, but because the limit goes up, so does the lead time, so it's going to take you longer to get these sets in your hands. While I'm still sad I won't be getting the Castle in the Forest set myself, I'm glad that they're making some changes to address this. If you want to check out the full announcement, there's a link in the description below. Next in LEGO Ideas news, while there weren't any last week, there are four projects this week that hit 10,000 supporters that we have to break down. First up, we've got the Mystery Machine from the classic cartoon Scooby-Doo. The build for this one is is much larger than the one we got as a set and more resembles the Crater Expert line of cars. And in general, I think they did a really nice job capturing the design and its unique shaping. And while I love the look of the exterior printed pieces, I do think it'd be hard for LEGO to produce those and have them match up. But overall, I think this would make a really cool set with all of its different functioning doors and opening sections, plus a full detailed interior. Next up, we've got GameStop Classic Shop, which is a nice small build for the game store. The build itself is quite simple, and it definitely seems to be playing off of its recent popularity in the stock market. While in general I'd love to see a video game store in a Lego city, I do think this build is overall quite simple, and I do worry about the global appeal of this one. Next up, we've got the airport fire truck Rosenbauer Panther 8x8. This fire truck is definitely one of the most impressive I've seen, and this 122 replica is 60 centimeters long and made up of 2,900 parts. The details here really bring this one to life, and there's lots of different functions, making this sort of like the hybrid between those large Technic sets and the Crater Expert car line. Finally, we've got the Aircraft Engine Workshop minifigure scale and working. The build here is really unique, especially the shaping for the aircraft engine itself, as well as the great scaffolding and detail to work on it. Interestingly, this isn't the first aircraft engine related project to make it through, so there's definitely a lot of interest here. And it's also clear to see that this project's designer had a really good sense about how these actually work, which I think adds a lot of authenticity to the set, but we'll have to wait and see how they all do. Next up in holiday news, Hallmark has added to their ornament collection four new Lego designs for this year each retailing for $17. First up, we've got the Christmas Elf and Teddy Bear, which features a similar design to the collectible minifigures. Next, we've got that classic version of Wonder Woman that we've gotten for a while. And finally, we've got the Christmas sweater version of Darth Vader and the Stormtrooper that we saw in a lot of the materials for last year's Christmas. The Christmas Elf and Wonder Woman are available now, and Darth Vader and the Stormtrooper will be available on October 2nd. And if you want to check them out, there's links in the description below. So there you have it, folks. That was this week in bonus LEGO news. And there's definitely a lot to be excited about this this week. I'm really looking forward to the Seinfeld set later this month, as well as all the stacking promos, as it might be a really good time to pick something up. Though, of course, a lot of sets do come out August 1st, so I may need to figure out how I stagger all my purchasing. Be sure to leave this video a thumbs up down below as it really helps the channel, and don't forget to subscribe because I'll be back next Saturday with even more LEGO news. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think about all the stories, and which one are you most excited about? And now we've got this week's giveaway winner. Congratulations, and be sure to email me from the About page on my channel so we can coordinate about the prize. And if you want to enter this week's round, just leave me a comment about
out this week's news. You must be a subscriber to win and definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks and have a good one. Hey guys, Michael here. Click to watch last week's video featuring tons of Lego Marvel, Spider-Man, City, and so much more. And don't forget to subscribe.